I'll give my first thoughts on the patch version 1.16 changes regarding the lethality items. If you haven't seen, then on Twitter, Froxon has released the champs that are being buffed, nerfed, as well as system buffs and system nerfs. I'll be focusing on the system buffs as well as system nerfs because, because it is specifically lethality uh, specific. So if you want to see the rest of the changes, then I heavily recommend going to Spadax's Twitter and then reading the changes for yourself, but I will just be commenting on the lethality changes. So first thing is Serpent's Fang buff being increased from giving 12 lethality to 15 lethality. This doesn't change anything because you will buy Serpent's Fang whenever the enemy team has a bunch of shields and you will not buy it whenever they don't have shields. So the free lethality buff does essentially nothing. You'll still buy it whenever they have shields and you will not buy it when they don't have shields. It doesn't change anything. Umbral Glaive buff goes from 10 lethality to 13 lethality, so that one also gets another free lethality. And this could actually be good because both Kha'Zix and Graves, as well as other champions like Pike, for example, or any other champions that can go zombie ward, either on uh, jungle, mid, or even support, will now get a small advantage of going this as a first item. So... We could see that Umbral Glaive rushes will happen on multiple different champions, including Kha'Zix and Graves. So this change could actually mean that this item will be picked up more often. Duskblade is getting nerfed. The cooldown goes from 10 seconds to 30 seconds and the maximum damage reduced goes from 20 seconds to 18 seconds. So the biggest part is definitely that there is an added 20 seconds on the uh, cooldown. And not so much the maximum damage reduced, that one doesn't really matter too much. And because it's a 20 second increase in terms of cooldown, because many other champions outside of Assassins are buying Duskblade, I feel like this is a big enough nerf that people will move away from Duskblade uh, and will now go to items such as either uh, Eclipse or Tankier. Um, Tankier Ops is like Gore Drinker. Or they will simply go to Ghostblade, which I feel like now is the best damage lethality item out of the three, so out of Duskblade, Eclipse and Ghostblade. I think that Ghostblade will now be the best option. And I could imagine that champions like Graves with the lethality build as well as Kha'Zix will swap to Ghostblade instead of playing with Duskblade next patch. Then we have Prowler's Claw being buffed, the cooldown being reduced from 10 seconds to 5 seconds and the bonus AD ratio being increased from 45 for melee and 30 for uh, ranged goes to 55 for melee and 35 for ranged is quite massive because the cooldown now means that you can proc it multiple times within a team fight and the fact it has a better bonus AD ratio means that it's even better in late game by a full 10% for melee and flat 5% uh, for ranged so I feel like that this is a champion that especially Kha'Zix would now like to buy and prioritize more often and I have seen a few Graves players also go Prowler's Claw, but it seems like it's not as ideal as it is for Kha'Zix. And then the last item is Axiom Arc, and the buff is basically that the base old cooldown refund is increased from 5% to 10%. So this is great for champions uh, such as Kha'Zix who are going R Evolve. It is also a slightly better uh, item now for that specific playstyle. But I feel like the Prowler's Claw buff is the biggest one. We could see that Umbral Glaive also comes back and then Axiom Arc um, could also be added as a later later like item option for like third, fourth, if you don't have any armor on the enemy team and you don't need Surrealist and Black Cleaver, then you could be stacking the Lethality items. So Overall, the items do get buffed. I feel like the Lethality Champions do get buffed. Assassins gets buffed overall. And they especially get buffed when they can stack multiple of these buffed Lethality items. Whereas normally in a normal game, you would probably go for two Lethality items. And then you'd start getting either Black Cleaver or Cyrilla Scrudge. But against full squishy team comps where you can go three, four or even five Lethality items, this is quite a big buff for those champions. So those are my thoughts on the changes. And uh, let me know what you guys think. Like the video if you enjoyed. Then I'll do more of these in the future. And subscribe to not miss out on future videos. And then I just want to say thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. See you guys.